and welcome to the Saitama Stadium. And here we have Portugal against Spain. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Drury, and hello to everyone. Starting lineups. This turns on Jim. For me, the man to look out for is Andres Iniesta, not just because of his incisive passing, but for his dribbling talent too. I mean, he can penetrate defensive lines with ease, and he does it all with such elegance. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. No, it's Isco. And it shouldn't have ended like that. It's a shame everything was really looking good. Look, sometimes you're already thinking about what you're going to do next and you suffer a little lapse in concentration and end up with a, a red face moment like that. It's very frustrating. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. He's away. Jose Font. Very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Cristiano Ronaldo passes it through. Oh, the keeper, his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. That's well blocked, and back out it comes. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Jordi Alba does well to read it and intercepts. Shapes the shoots. All that. Looks like a good ball through. Isco. Lovely bit of skill. Cristiano Ronaldo gets into a dangerous position. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Belts one. Had everyone off their seats. And that was more than a decent attempt. Perhaps it deserved better, too. Isco. out in the nick of time Sergio Busquets tries to stroke it through pass 
needed to be better than that, and he knows it. He's one on one, and he's on his way. Goal, Portugal! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. Portugal break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Thrust towards the front line. Can he put it away? Ronaldo! Superb! And already they're looking to run away with it. De Gea did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Portugal get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. And the whistle goes for half-time. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Portugal look good for their lead and concentration and, and landed a second blow before recovering from the first. Uh, it's kicking them while they're down and, and it's got to be done. Portugal ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. They are rampant! Surely now beyond all doubt. <laughs> An absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Played out to the right. Looks to slip it through. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. That is a class save. He had to be at his best. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter-attacking strike. It was so direct. Ball's gone out of play. Gets on the end of it. Big chance! Moutinho plays it out to the flank and that's been repelled Sergio Busquets boots it upfield Diego Costa oh it's opened up nicely for him oh extraordinary I think when you're in front of me a change here there's a man waiting to come on Actually not getting too tight which is interesting no it's probably cautionary uh, don't dive in try to pinch it or or intercept so nobody can get in behind oh, well intercepted really alert to the danger now the pass Jean Moutinho Needed to come up with a better ball. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Diego Costa with a long pass out wide. Silva tries to cut back. Charisma aimed long and direct. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Who's going to make this theirs? And he's made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Caresma! That really should have hit the net. Well, that's an illustration. Real vigour then. And it's Co 
Kulusevski. Tries a through ball. Iniesta. Nicely controlled. Diego Costa. And the ball's come out. Oh, the referee's booking him here for a dive. Listen, he can play the innocent as much as he wants, Peter, but it was fairly obvious to everyone here. He's got no hiding place. Now it's Costa. Diego Costa passes it through. Oh, that is... Four added minutes on the board. Looks it towards the front. PK cuts it out. Iniesta. Thiago. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers who can afford to be patient.